What's up guys, James Carter TV, and it's finally time to update my 2016 NFL Power Rankings. But before I do that, for those of you that have been following this channel, you know I've came out with draft recaps. Now for each and every team in the NFL, and in these draft recaps, I gave each team a GPA. Now if you go down to the description box below, ranged from 1 to 32 are the GPAs in order. We had an average GPA of about 2.97, a median though of 3.97. 0.16 because there are some teams down low uh, that had like a 2.13 and some 2.5s that really brought that average number down and the highest GPAs weren't as high as uh, probably I probably should have constructed so that the GPAs could have been a little higher uh, so the Green Bay Packers are the highest GPA with like a 3.65 you know but, but next year I think I'm going to modify some things and then make it to where it's actually possible to have about a 3.78 because it it's really hard with my report card system to get in that range, which, I mean, anyway, I mean, these are good GPAs. I mean, 3.65, I wish I had that <laughs> GPA. So anyway, uh, we're going to get into this NFL power rankings. All this stuff I talk about can be found in the description box below. So the GPA rankings... By the way, if you want to watch, you know, individual team, that draft recap, there will be a playlist, a link to a playlist of all the draft recaps. So go to that playlist, find your favorite team, watch that video, and yell at me there. That way you can figure out why you got the GPA that you did, or why your team got the GPA that they did. So when you look at my power rankings, so let's talk about the biggest riser, the Indianapolis Colts. I put the Indianapolis Colts on blast. I put them on watch after the... A free agency period because they didn't do anything they did squad douche and i thought they needed to do a lot more than they did because hello they did nothing so i had them ranked all the way down to 27 and i said if you want to move back up you got to have a good draft prove to me tell me and show me why i should move you up back to where you belong to be they showed me so i moved them up five spots they're now at 22 i'm still waiting to see on the indianapolis colts right now that's just where i'm at and mainly it's not even the colts it's andrew luck i'm waiting and seeing on him because Colts fans and Andrew Luck himself they'll tell you well it's because he was injured because of this and that guys he was bad period this guy was bad last year I don't want to hear about injuries everyone's injured everyone's banged up you got to go out there you got to play well these injuries have no excuse for him throwing these interceptions that he throw through excuse me in, in terms of bad decision making in terms of sliding up in the pocket when he should have, when instead of, it, and, I mean, in terms of not reading the field the way he should have. I mean, so many things that were wrong with Andrew Luck. I need to see them fixed before I jump on the Colts bandwagon yet again. Prove to me that's why you're ranked 22nd behind the Jacksonville Jaguars, who also had a nice little jump up as well. Biggest follower, the Atlanta Falcons. Now, this is for two reasons. Number one, I didn't like their draft. I think I had their draft ranked probably about 29th or 30th in the whole league. And then you move on from that. The schedule, the schedule, NFL schedule, 2016 schedule, came out in between my last power rankings and this one. So that also affects these rankings. And let me tell you, the Falcons drew the short stick. Their schedule is awful. It is hard. It is difficult. And that alone hurts the Atlanta Falcons. They were at number 12 for me. I was high on them. Bad draft, horrible schedule, moves them down 12 spots into the 24 range because I don't see how they're going to make the playoffs with this schedule. Uh, I don't have much faith in them to do well with this schedule. And with this draft, it's going to help much either. So I'm not buying as the Atlanta Falcons like I was in March. And in terms of teams that also moved up and down a little bit, the Chiefs fell four spots to me. I thought they had the second, uh, the tied for the worst draft according to my GPA system, but probably the second worst draft in the NFL. A lot of picks, but not many very good ones. You can go to watch my draft, my Chiefs draft recap in which I completely kill the Kansas City Chiefs pretty much. I mean, I thought it was a horrible draft. In terms of risers, Denver Broncos, they move up four spots. They got their quarterback. Actually, five spots. They got their quarterback. So they're actually tied for the biggest riser. I should have said that. But they got their quarterback in Paxton Lynch. That was my big thing. I challenged them. Get a quarterback, and then you'll move back up. They got a quarterback, and they move back up. You look at the Washington Redskins. You know, they're at 17. They move back up to 13, just outside of the playoff teams. You know, if you're looking at the top 12 teams, 
teams being playoff teams are just outside. But, you know, the New York Giants and the Russian Redskins, I think that's going to be the two-team race for the NFC East this year. Dallas Cowboy fans, you're going to be pissed. You moved down two spots. You were at 24. Now you're at 26. I mean, I was not on board with the philosophy during this draft. You didn't improve your run game. You think you have. You didn't. Now, Darren McFadden ran for 1,000 yards last year. You got ninth. You were ninth in rushing yards last year, the Cowboys were. You didn't improve your rushing game. So I don't know where this idea is coming from. And that's what you spent your draft on. You also spent your draft on the guy that's not going to play this year. You spent your draft on Malik Collins, who's a project right now. So you didn't improve in the draft. You didn't improve in free agency. I'm going to move down spots, and you think you're going to win the NFC East. I'll be surprised if you compete for the NFC East. You look at some other risers and fallers. We also have mm, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they had a pretty good draft. They move up three spots. Uh, I'm not sure they're going to be a playoff team, but I think 8-8 eight and eight is definitely in their future. We'll see how good those wide receivers can be for them this year. That's the biggest question mark. The Bears moved down four spots. I was starting to look at the Bears as being a wild card or a playoff contender in the NFC. FC. I've cooled off a little bit on that. I wasn't a fan of this draft, and a lot of people are, but I just I wasn't feeling it. I thought Leonard Floyd was a reach. Now they're talking about we had to put weight on this kid before he can really play significant minutes. Don't like hearing that. Cody White here doesn't look strong enough to be a good guard at this uh, league in this level. Don't love that. I like the Jonathan Bullard pick, but I thought there were issues with this Bears draft. So they moved down four spots to me. Still looking at about a 7-9 and nine season or something around that, but it would look like a potential 10-6 and six season. I've cooled off on that. So there you go. You know, these full power rankings can be found in the description box below. Oh, also, one thing also, the Patriots dropped down two spots, mainly because I didn't like their draft and obviously the Tom Brady suspension. Now, I don't know if he's going to serve anything because he's appealing the decision made by the United States Court of of appeals. I mean, this is something I've never heard of in my life. I mean, when will this deflate gate nonsense please come to an end? I mean, because how this man is appealing a decision made by the United States Court of Appeals. I mean, who does it go to? I can't go back to them, right? I mean, this is unbelievable. Uh, wow. And and also, I didn't like their draft, so they moved down two spots. Vikings had a good draft. They moved up two spots. Cardinals didn't like their draft. They moved down three spots. Full rankings in the description box below. Enjoy them. Love them. And until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.